Hey, what's up guys? The at home welder here. We're going to go through a little quick tip here for you. Just showing you uh, some basics on heat control and wire speed on uh, a little 110 min welder. Um, I say 110, this is actually the Hobart Handler 140. Uh, it's a great little big machine, very portable, pretty lightweight, you know, around 45, 50 pounds, which you know, for a welder is pretty lightweight. Uh, it's the equivalent to like a, Mil a Miller 175 or a Lincoln 125 or 175. Um, basically, I'm going to go over some of the heat and speed things that uh, I use. Generally, uh, most of the stuff that I'm welding, I'm, I'm usually on four. Four is going to be your highest setting. You know, you got one, two, three, four. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, when you're welding uh, thicker materials, uh, a lot of cast iron, um, plate, and that kind of thing, you're going to want to go with your hottest setting. Um, obviously, this is something you're going to play around with. But this is going to give you your best bonding, and especially stuff that you're going to have outside, you know, uh, things that might get banged around. Um, generally, I keep my wire speed around 45 or 50, but that's where I'm most comfortable welding. Um, you're not going to want to change from this too much. Uh, you might want to slow down a little bit or speed up a little bit. Just It just depends on your welding style as well. Um, when you start getting into sheet metal and your metal gets a little thinner, you're definitely going to need to turn this down and you're going to blow through it. Uh, when you do that, most of the time when I'm welding sheet, I'm around two. Um, sometimes I go down to one, but one is pretty, pretty light. <laughs> uh, I, I personally don't do much stuff that's light because it, it just annoys me. Um, you're also going to, your welding speed is probably going to stay around 45, 50. You might kick it up a little bit. Um, one thing you might have a problem with is if you have your, your temperature too low and your speed too high, obviously your wire is not going to melt and you're not going to have any bonding and you're just going to have your spooling up wire right in front of you. It'll be like a big ball of yarn, big nasty ball of yarn. Um, if you have your wire speed too low and say your heat turned up, then your welding wire is just going to burn up right there on the end of your gun. You're not even going to get to the metal. It'll just burn up and you'll have a big clogged up nasty mess of molten welding wire on the end of your gun. You're going to be replacing tips and cleaning out your liner. It's just a big pain in the butt. So uh, uh, this is something you want to play around with. Um, again, each machine is different, uh, but for the most part they're tuned in. You might need to change your speed a little bit here or there or your temperature between 3 and 4 or whatever. But uh, that's it, pretty much. Uh, this is something you definitely want to play around with. And practice makes perfect. But, um, you know, play around with this and uh, have fun. That's it. Thanks, guys. This has been a quick tip from the At Home Welder. Uh, pretty simple, straightforward stuff, but I hope it helps you out. And uh, once again, you know, practice makes perfect. You know, go out there and mess around with this stuff. It's very easy. It's nothing to be afraid of. Um, have fun with it.